it's it's very difficult for people to look at the images that are shown around animal cruelty and the uh, horrific inhumane conditions of animals on on live export ships i understand why people would want to turn away from that um, there are times when i'm so affected by it myself that i also um, you know kind of catch my breath because it's just too awful to imagine but we can't turn away because those animals need us they need your voice to speak to government it's important to fight against the live export trade in australia because it is a fundamentally cruel industry it cannot be regulated it cannot be fixed the australian government gave an undertaking at the 2022 election that they would phase out live sheep export by sea. And we are waiting for that to happen. They need to deliver on their promise. Right now in Australia, in Western Australia, off, off Frio, the MV Bahija, an Israeli owned live export ship, there are many thousands of animals trapped on that ship. The government gave that ship, the live exporters, approval to head into a conflict zone. So there were 14,000 sheep and 2,500 cattle on board that ship. They were headed directly into a conflict zone that was known before they left. It became untenable and the government ordered the ship returned. So those animals have spent a month on board, literally in a metal box, in their own excrement, unable to move freely. Often we know many of these animals can't reach food in these conditions. They can't lie down. They can't do their normal behaviors. The ship was then um, moored off Fremantle during an extreme heat wave. We're talking temperatures in the high 30s, early 40s, but the conditions on that ship is absolutely hellish for those animals. And until yesterday, we didn't know if they were going to be unloaded or re-transported. Um, um, so fortunately, yesterday, the government denied permission for that ship to leave for now. This isn't a win. It's just a reprieve. And the issue now is what will happen to those animals. So many people aren't aware that even in Australia, it's not just sheep and cows that we export. We export all sorts of animals, greyhounds, horses, camels, goats. We're one of the largest exporters of goats. It, it just doesn't end. The cruelty doesn't stop and it won't until we end live export. Uh, we should absolutely be um, doing more for animal welfare in our country. I think just the outrage over this particular issue, this one ship knowing the, the, the disgusting treatment and the conditions that these animals have to withstand it, it is beyond any kind of humane treatment. What keeps me fighting for animals to prevent them ending up in, you know, the most inhumane conditions is the fact that we know animals are sentient. That means that they feel the way we feel as human beings. You know, they, they live in family units. They have friends, they're intelligent. They have emotions that so, why do we continue to treat them the way that we do when there are alternatives? How do we live in a country where animals are treated the way that they are in live export or, you know, factory farm? It, it's outrageous. How does it happen? Because they're self-regulated and there aren't cameras. Um, if, if people knew what happened inside these places, they would be horrified. And our call to the Australian public is, please email the Labor MPs and Senators and ask them to legislate the date to phase out live sheep export and, and more. Whatever it is that you think should be done, tell your MPs, tell your Senators. There's a, um, a guide on the Animal Justice Party website um, or you can just do it of your own accord. But please don't turn away. Those images are awful. The suffering of those animals is immense and change will only come 
if we tell our elected representatives that this is not what we want and we expect them to do better.